Hello and welcome back to the Canny Caledonian. So, we need to figure out where we want to go next here because there's some options. Uh, is that army take attrition? Oh yeah, I'm moving them all around. That's fine. Um, yeah, we have some options, and I'm trying to think. I think I want to attack Brittany or uh, Vanilia here. I think they seem like a great choice. If they no longer exist, I want to attack um, Avernia. So they're at war with someone else. Oh no, Avernia are large, never mind. But I do want to get a foothold in France. This would be the ideal one as well. But they are they are in a little bit of an alliance over there. But they're an alliance of weak people. So that's 27, 21, and 32. So yeah, they're fairly weak people. So if we had a good way of moving men over there, that would be fine. We are going to have some issues there though. Now would these guys grant me military access? No, because they don't like me and I'm competing power. How about these guys? No. So I really need somebody weak to just fall apart so I can get military access. Yeah. I also need opinion. Um, we could land here. That doesn't really get me where I need to go, though. Hmm. Yeah. Really, it's, it's just this guy or this guy. That's who I need to get over there with. So why were they saying no? Um, competing power is 40 in opinion. Maybe I want to try and get some opinion of this guy. Um, can I improve opinion? Or is that specifically with the guy himself? No, it, okay, no, improve opinion. There we go. Go up by 60 over time. So that would put it back, that would put it up to positive. Uh, it looks like it's half is put into that. So it'd be negative 27 comes back. It's not looking great even with that. Okay. Frisia is another option, potentially. We want to move a little bit further over. They only have 25,000. They are a migratory tribes. So it's a little annoying to attack, but... I mean, they're large enough. They're next to a lot of colonizable land, which we're really good at getting. We could then try and get into here as well. Do they have any alliances? Receives tribute. Wait, they receive tribute from these guys? Wait, really? Oh, wait, no. No, they do. Wow. These guys are paying tribute to Frisia. How did that even work? I don't know. Can I threaten war here? Will they, will they even say yeah? Demand tribute. No. Uh, Because base, they just don't want to do it. If their opinion on me was higher, they would definitely uh, be okay. Oh, it must be a hunt. No, that's not what I meant. I meant like the one where you say, do this or else. Um, It's like threaten war, isn't it? Uh, threaten war, yeah. You have no Cassus Belly. Well, let's get one. Let's find out how it works. I'm gonna fabricate a claim on them. Right. I'm not gonna declare war, I'm just gonna threaten war. Let's see what they say in, uh, yeah, in about a month. Uh, this person is now Orator. It, or now is a Orator. Okay. Sure. Sounds good to me. Right. Uh, 12th of October has come and gone. So I could now threaten war. Oh wait, they have four cities? Oh, they have this one as well. Uh, Andion. They would say no because they don't want to. And the province has value. For all of these. Yeah. That's their capital, so definitely a no there. Because our strength is not nearly as high as their strength. Okay, like, yeah. It's because we're not, like, dwarfing them in power. They're not just going to give up. I understand. Also because I assume their ally strength must be in that calculation as well. Okay, that's fine. We only lost a little bit of oratory power for doing it. I'm not really worried about that. Alright, I guess what we're going to do then. Also, did I not have those in negatives? Oh, okay. Uh, fleet maintenance can also go lower. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I have this up here for 15% extra income. I think I'm okay with that as well. Right. Um, now we just let everyone spread out. And then yeah, let's see what we can do. You'd like me to export livestock. Decline offer. That's fine. Uh, invention. Do any of these that give us uh, more money? Freeman output would give us more money. Hmm... Yeah, Freeman output would just straight up give us more money, wouldn't it? There we are. We now have more output. Popular vote. Okay. 
Um, some politicians can't avoid consorting with the common folk. The ringleader of this rabble, however, one Damona Bulgia, brings interesting deals to the table in return for the support of many of the deplorable the support of many of the deplorable populist faction to demand that we close an important import route to our capital, thereby providing local people with greater control over their own affairs. Okay. So they're more likely to support when I change laws for two years if I get rid of a capital trade route, or I can just say no. No. There we go. Easy enough. Uh, okay. Where am I building forts? Oh, I'm building them over here. Yeah, that makes sense. I could probably lower a few more forts down. Like, I probably don't need this one. That that one seems maybe unnecessary. Uh, I definitely don't need all of those. Let's just get rid of some. Like, that four, that four. That one's unnecessary. It doesn't really, it doesn't even protect the coast. So, yeah. In fact, if it doesn't protect the coast, it's probably just trash right now. Yeah. We may end up putting more of these in. Like, that one protects the coast quite nicely. We can keep it. This one does not protect the coast, really. So we'll get rid of it. This one? It is on a port, so I guess that does kind of protect the coast, and it's literally on the coast, so that's fine. Um, This one's fine. That one is maybe too close to that one. I'll get rid of this one instead, actually. That's fine. Right. Just get... Well, in which case... Mm, I think I'm only going to keep one of these. I'm going to get rid of the one in Deva. I don't think having a port there really matters. As you can drop men off wherever, I believe. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully that saves us enough money on fours. Oh yeah, now we're making five a month. That's perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Get some income going. And then we can start working out, uh, you know, how we want to play other things here. But the income's the first one. A religious proceeding. We can lose stability. No. Well, I mean, it's also... No, it also gains National Unrest 3. Uh, we can gain Religious... I'm just going to choose the one that's fine. Yeah, nobody gets mad. We don't have any Unrest. Seems pretty happy to me. Right. It's okay. We are going to build two more forts, which is going to stop some of our money gains, but that's okay. What do we want here? National Manpower doesn't really matter that much. We don't get that much benefit from it. Aggressive Expansion Change? Who cares? Commerce Income 37%. Yeah, maybe. Tax 35% though. Oh, sorry, that was 35% as well. That would be pretty good. Population growth is also an interesting one because we... That would just give us more output over time. Now, I'm going to go for po population growth. Logic being that the more population growth we have, the more we're going to have in every single city, and that's going to make a huge deal. If I go to nation overview, is there a way of seeing uh, cities here? No, not really. See, I was wondering, like, if I could go, hey, there's... Oh, I can see cities if I hover over. Okay, that's fine. Um, Yeah, I'm just trying to find ones which... We could actually move a couple more into Cornavi, and then we'd have more stuff we could do with the slaves there. We could start moving some of these people around as well. In this one, do we have... We don't quite have enough there to move slaves around. So in Caledonia, we have enough to move slaves around. Is there any resource I want that Caledonia produces? I mean, fish seems great, because that gets us, um, yeah, more, uh, what's it, well, actually, what's the surplus in fish get us? Freeman happiness. Yeah, not really interested in that. Or surplus in province? Oh, it's population growth. That's fine. Yeah, that works. Or I could get a surplus in wild game. Hmm. It gets you tribesmen output in the province. In, yeah, in the province. That was the right one for once, but we don't have any tribesmen. I think I'm going to have to fish, yeah. So which one do I have six in? So I have six in here, so I just need to move 17 over. Do I actually have 17 in here? Yes. Okay. Is it going to cost us a lot of civic power? Is it worth the civic power? No, because I'm doing tech. So even after all that, it's like not really worth like looking around. Yeah. We're just going to take this opportunity to build and grow, I think. Yeah. Uh, it is apparently quite a short game, this one, in terms of, like, when the end date is. I wonder when it actually ends. What's this? Say, um... Alright, interesting. It does have something for the date. Pythagoras, when asked, uh, what the time was, answered that it was the soul of this world. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, so we have a new person ruling. It's this person. Uh, religious faction gives us omen power and convert pop, uh, cost. Okay. Um... 
and get a lot of oratory with her. I'm not really happy about the oratory, if I'm honest, but that's okay. Oh, we also need a new sensor, because she was our old sensor. Yeah. Yeah, Senate influence. Okay. It's all right. Uh, anything else we need to jump on? Any new decisions? We could promote o oligarchy. Yeah. As an option, I have no idea which is best out of these ones. Um, but we'd have to do different things. What do we want? Because right now we just have a democratic republic, don't we? Um, that's like civilization stuff. We don't really care about that, I think. Right? Uh, if I just check on here, because I think it's here. Yeah, it's civilization value. I mean, it is pretty good, and it does affect a lot of these, but we actually have quite high civilization values anyway, I think, so... I don't know if that's going to make a lot of difference. But just for taking it... Oh, you just get a plus 30 for taking it, I think. Hmm. Um... Get rid of the plebeian masses. Uh... Lure of profit is also quite a nice idea. Hmm. There's probably not a great way to play trade in this game, I'm imagining. Oh, interesting. Civilization map mode. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's like a... There is a trade goods map mode. But that's not really the same thing as like... Oh, there's trade routes. Alright, so that's just for us, right? And it tells you like... There's an unused trade... It just tells you where unused trade routes are. And yeah, and there are outgoing ones. And then this one's saying there's nothing you need to do here. Okay. Well, yeah, interesting. None of that is particularly useful information, but, you know, uh, that's fine. It may decide, like, if you were slightly larger to start with and you were, or, like, you were very, very specifically going for a strategy, you might try and get specific strategic goods, but right now, they don't really feel like they're of value, if you know what I mean. Like, the strategic goods kind of feel like, yeah, they give you an advantage, but it's not necessarily an amazing advantage, if you know what I mean. It's just like, you get, you know, uh, some ex a tiny bit extra um, population growth. Yeah, over time it might be good, but like it doesn't feel uh, amazing. Where is... Okay, uh, where is Rob Bogdia? Uh, I think I'm just going to say yes, but I do kind of want to know where that city is. Is there a fine city? Yeah. Uh, Rog. Wait, it was Rog, wasn't it? It's Rob. Rob. Uh, yeah, Rob. Bog. Yeah. Oh, which one is it? This one. Okay. So, um, sure. Sounds good. Why not? I mean, it is going to mean that they have a lot of population growth, I guess, because it's the second granary there as well. Yeah, so they, they should have insane population growth. Um, let's see. Yeah, 1% a month. So they're going to have a lot of citizens at one point here. What's our um, research um, efficiency? Eh, 156. Seems good to me. Right, uh, civil wars are ending. We shouldn't have any of those. We're, we're very, very uh, secure in that way. Um, discipline, I guess, is alright. Omen power is also pretty good while we're at peace, I guess. Yeah. It's an extra 5% on the omen power. It just means that, like, this is just an extra 5% better. And that's applying across our whole nation. It's just a buff to our population growth. Yeah, it's just a prospering time in Albion. Okay. Oh, they are finished the war here. How's there a lot? How are there a lot? They are at war of Lexovia and Ambaria. Do they have any alliances? They're in alliance with San with Santonia. Uh, bit uh, bit Turgia and Susonia. Okay, so we don't really want to attack them. Also, if I got any of those wrong, I'm sorry, but uh, yes, I I don't speak Latin, so there we go. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Uh, how many men do they have? That is an impressive looking character. So 43, and then the other one was in here somewhere, I think, or I think they were in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, so you have 20... Oh, they're right, they're in, they're in the middle of another nation. That's why I couldn't see them. 
Okay, and then this one. Yes, yeah, so they have quite a few troops. They have more than anyone has had on in our aisle, so. Yeah, they're 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 significantly stronger. Uh you would like to import leather. Sure. I'll take that. Will this be the person people give money to? That works for me. Uh Carthage is really uh, expanded in the uh south of Italy here, I think. Uh Rome is also expanding northwards rapidly. Yeah. Hmm. So they're they're kind of just migrating away up up here. Yeah, hopefully they don't want uh, any of what we've got, but I don't think they could take it if they uh, tried. Right, uh, we have a lot of manpower now, but we still are only, what, an eighth of our max or something like that? Yeah, we can get more. It's just a little bit of a peaceful time and a little bit restless because I don't know what to do at peace. That's okay. Two cities are preparing for war, so we get local freeman output. Good. But yeah, I don't I don't really know what to do at peace here. We could try and change laws, I guess, but there's nothing I... The problem is there's nothing I want right now. Bribe character cost means nothing to me, though. What, about, what else have we got here? Wages for characters, corruption goes down. Corruption goes down, endorsed party cost goes up. I don't use that either. Mod, uh, this goes down, wages for characters goes up. I think I might choose this one. We have this one. We must not tolerate those who would betray our Grand Republic for promises of material wealth. By legislating heavily against this, however, we may find that even our most outspoken politicians are unwilling to voice their thoughts. Yeah, I'm going to stamp out corruption. Yeah. Stamp that out. Perfect. Right. So, does anyone actually have any corruption right now? No. There's no corruption. And we're making sure of it with our laws. Are there any other laws I want to change? Omen cost... Yeah, I don't really care about that. Omen power. Yeah, okay. Um, monthly tyranny, religious faction influence. Okay, doesn't really affect me either. Omen duration, monthly uh, pontifex loyalty. I think pontifex are the people on your... Like, here? Is that just all of them? Are they my pontifex? I don't know what a pontifex is. Anyway, this one seems pretty good. Omen power up. Yeah. Does it tell me, like, what people are feeling about this, or... Can I just... This is now a law. Okay, people will just have different opinions on it. Okay. That's fine. Freeman output. Uh, don't care about that one. Don't care about that one. Apart from the fact that it does get us a lot of research, but still not amazingly into that one. Population growth. Very nice. I will take the pop... I'll keep with population growth. Uh, here... That means nothing to us, because, well, we don't really have that many cultures that are wrong. We can make slave output go up. Mm, potentially good. Uh, although it's wrong culture, not wrong culture group, because this one's wrong culture group, which is slightly different, I suppose. Um, I quite like this one, the extra output. Yeah, sl uh, slave treatment sanctions. It is our duty to ensure that slaves are in receipt of at least the very basic amenities required to survive better working conditions promote productivity. Sure. I vote for that one. Okay. Uh, so I changed this one at one point, which still seems fine to me. Those slaves needed for surplus might be cool as well. Uh, also, the land seizure amendments could be cool. Why can I not do these? Uh, it's not part of the populist faction. I just can't change these, I guess. Because people wouldn't vote for them, maybe? I, I can't change that. Okay. That's fine. Uh, with the draft act right now, which is fine as well. That's manpower. That's national manpower. But could it get manpower recovery speed? Hmm, potentially. This one seems quite good though. The extreme measures of land seizure protocol may not be quite as uh, necessary as previously thought. By reaching a compromise with the nobility, they will grudgingly provide support whilst retaining control over their own affairs. Sure. Go for that one. Oh, that tells me what people think about it. And then forcing this through the Senate. Oh, I didn't even read any of those. I probably got a bunch of tyranny. Uh, yeah. It looks like I got some tyranny. Okay, that's fine though. Um, and I'm not near any of these, am I? Hmm. Traditional observance would allow me to do that. But I also have enacted the Local Governance Act as well. So none of these are quite there for us there. So we're quite fine being democratic. But I'm hoping that... Uh, the religion, uh, no, the slave output is going to be very nice here. 
Yeah. Is that gonna change, or it must have already have changed? Okay. So yeah, we get a reasonable amount of base tax here. If I move more slaves up here, I only need seven more. Yeah, I can do that. I can move seven slaves up into this one, and then that will get us a uh, another slave bonus. We're just gonna move them next door. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, so some from here are gonna move up there as well. That's 34, we now get another slave bonus, so we get another base materials exporting, and we're also sitting at base tax of 2.45 on there. Nice. So, hopefully we're making a reasonable chunk of cash now. Yeah, I made this a little bit more. Yeah, still still looking good. Right, uh, manpower is still going up, and that's about I kind of want to max out if possible. I don't know why I clicked that, that never helps. Uh, civic, uh, sorry, oratory advances we got... Bribe character cost, aggressive expansion, and control range modifier. Don't know what that is, but that's okay. Um, right, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas for where we should attack next, please let me know, because I am a little clueless right now. But, you know, uh, it's still fun. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.